it looks just like my skin, but. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost, and today we are back with another product review. Y'all absolutely love when I do like foundation reviews or just product reviews in general, specifically my drugstore products. And I really love that for me and my pockets because you know, we like to be cost efficient over here. Either way, this video is super special to me today because I started my career with this foundation. Yes, almost 13 years ago, will be 13 years in June. Your girl did not have the money to buy high-end products to be working on clients. I learned very quickly that being a makeup artist is super expensive, so my first idea was to go to the drugstore. And the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, along with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Foundation, were the products that I used for foundation in my kit. The old formula came in like the cylinder bottle. It was super liquidy. You had to be very careful with it because it was so liquidy that it would literally run off whatever surface you had your product placed on in order to apply the foundation. So when I saw this, let alone the commercial, when I saw it in the store before I saw the commercial, I was like, I wonder if they changed the formula. And now I have to try it because it's nostalgic for me. So I selected shade W10, which is warm deep, and I'm gonna be doing a first impressions video for you all, as well as a wear test. If you're not new to my channel, then you know how my foundation reviews go. So I don't wanna hold you guys hostage. Let's just go ahead and get ready to jump into the video. As always, all links to any products that I mention or that I use to complete this full face, although you guys will not see the full face captured in this video, will be linked down below in the description box. And there are affiliate links. Just want to throw that out there because, you know, lights got to stay on here. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the We are keeping a sole focus on the foundation, as I mentioned in my intro this is definitely a full circle moment for me because i started doing makeup with this brand so i purchased the true match super blendable foundation in the shade w10 which is warm deep i'm going to apply the first swatch so that we can make sure that this matched me i think that i did a pretty good job color matching um and we're going to apply the first swatch to see how it matches me. If you're new here, then you know that whenever I do my foundation reviews, literally all that I do is switch out the foundation. My theory is if the new foundation works with all the other products that I love in my everyday makeup routine, then it's a good foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and drop what I actually need onto this silver palette hopefully i don't need more than one or two pumps because i do like for some of my skin to actually show through the foundation okay i got quite a bit of product for one pump the original formula in the small cylinder bottle it was so watery so i had to make sure whenever i laid that foundation down that i used it immediately because it would literally run down the palettes whatever I was putting the foundation on it would literally run all over the place so I do like the fact that it does have a pump and it looks like maybe they might have thickened the product because as you guys can see it's staying exactly where I placed it and by the way I didn't color correct because I normally don't color correct for my products I want to let you guys know that nothing that I'm doing is different I literally don't color correct so either this foundation is going to cover up some of my hyperpigmentation that I have going on or either it's not. So let's swatch there first to see how it covers. First of all, that's an exact match, period. Okay, so what I will say is the product does come across buildable. Hopefully you guys can see this on the monitor as well but it didn't quite cover it up completely but i do feel like this product is buildable it got a good bit of it covered it looks just like my skin but 
better. So I'm liking that. Um, overall, I will say that the product does feel a little bit greasy, so that does concern me. So I'm going to, let me finish one side of my face first so we can do a real comparison to like half and half, and then we'll go from here. So obviously this side has the product on it. Y'all can see that line of demarcation, or at least I can in my monitor. I'm like looking at the monitor and I can definitely see it. Um, so this side has the foundation on it. As you guys can see, it looks a lot like just my skin. And then this is the side where I have not covered yet. You can see my hyperpigmentation, a few blemishes, um, all of that. So as far as coverage, I would say that I'm okay with the coverage even without building it up because again this is normally how I would wear my foundation anyways so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish my face like finish applying um, all the foundation all over and then come back and talk to you guys about how I feel now the foundation is on and then I'll finish the rest of my face come back talk to you guys about how it'll photo how it photographs well any initial photographs that I take pop them on the screen all of that good stuff and then we will carry on about our day run the rest of our errands and y'all already know at the end of the night i check in and i come and tell y'all how i feel about the foundation overall so let me finish the rest of my face with just applying the foundation All right, so the foundation is completely applied all over the face. I did go back in a little bit over that blemish. You can still see it. I'm scheduled for a microdermabrasion next week. Thank God. I Listen, I've been not doing well with keeping up with my skincare routine, but I wanted to come back and, like I said, talk to you guys once I had the foundation all over the place. Not going to lie. Sorry, L'Oreal. Y'all know I love y'all L'Oreal True Milk. Little. Sorry, L'Oreal. Y'all know I love y'all infallible foundation. This true match feels a little greasy. And like I said, I applied the same skin cap, skin prep, skin blah, blah, blah. And like I said, I applied the same products that I'll always use with my regular foundation routine. I literally just switch out the foundation, but I can definitely um, feel the greasiness of this product so it does have me just a little bit worried um, about how it's going to wear but as far as how it looks on the skin it's definitely beautiful even if I don't like the way that it holds up let me tell y'all something unless it's brand specific like I need to show the brand product in the video all of my drugstore foundations that I feel like just don't necessarily work for me to wear all day. Whenever I have people over or like come to the studio and create content with me, I use those products so that way they're not going to waste. But um, yeah, so far so good. The foundation looks really good on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do my the rest of my face and then I'll come back and let you guys know how I feel about the foundation. We're gonna take pictures in it, all that good stuff. And I'm gonna pop obviously the unfiltered raw photos in the video. So let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera. So my hair is done, clips are out, face is on. I'm gonna be honest, I still kind of feel the same exact way. The face does still feel a little greasy. However, what I will not do is not give L'Oreal their credit because the face looks good. I already took some pictures, which I will insert here on the screen. Looks beautiful photograph. I just don't feel like this foundation is gonna make it through the day for me because like I said, it's already getting oily and I use all of my same products that I always use. So like I said earlier, they will be listed down below in the description box. I am going to go run a few errands and I will be back to take this off at the end of the night so that way I can give my final closing remarks on the product. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my final thoughts. Again, we're going to just 
run a few errands, check back in, probably about 7, 7.30ish. Do have a pretty full day to see how the foundation lasts throughout the day and then I will wrap this video. All right, y'all, so it is currently 7.45, almost eight o'clock. I've had this foundation on now for, what time did I finish? Had this foundation on now for about eight hours, roughly. Because I was out in public, I said that I was gonna try to go without blotting the foundation, but it was just getting so oily in my nose that I just could not not blot it. So, final thoughts. Love the way it photographs. Will definitely add this to my use for content purposes stash. Personally, as an oily combination girl, I don't think she's that girl. She gets a little oily, a little greasy. So for my clients that are like dry or anything like that, or any um, classes that I teach with people who are starting kits, I would definitely recommend this foundation for anyone who is more of like a normal or dry skin because it is, It I don't wanna say hydrating may not be the word, but it's kind of greasy feeling. So I feel like it would work better long-term for someone with that skin type. So if you're looking for something just to practice with and something that's gonna photograph well, or if you're like me and you're a NARS girl when it comes to high-end foundation and you don't feel like pumping out that $50 foundation every time you need to shoot content for the sake of having foundation, then I think that a foundation like the L'Oreal True Match is definitely a good alternative to practice with, with foundation, again, that's gonna still give you what you need, is gonna photograph beautifully, is gonna look well on the screen. So I would probably give this foundation maybe like a 6.5 out of 10, maybe a seven, maybe a seven. Um, because I could try to use more of like a mattifying primer next time, but I, yeah, that's not really my gist anymore. Either way, I give it about 6.5, maybe seven out of 10 as far as the foundation. Again, I use the shade Warm Deep, which is W10, and all the products that I use to complete this full face will be listed down below in the description box. So yeah, that is it. Um, I don't really have nothing else to say. I will see you on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you all next time.